the greatest power of bhakti is that it protects you. It protects you. Those people who are suffering from any kind of trouble, any kind of uh, problems, just get out of it. Because this bhakti of yours gives you the right type of understanding. The understanding of yourself. Also the understanding of surroundings, understanding of the whole uh, universe, I should say. Why people behave like this, why they are like this. All this can be solved through your bhakti. It should not be blind, it should not be blind, but it should be wise bhakti, wise with wisdom. Only possible through Sahaja Yoga, I think. Otherwise, whatever bhakti people do, like mad, that cannot be bhakti. You don't become mad, you become a wise man. Wise man, as we have so many in the past, and the way they have talked about, everything is surprising. How they have said things about human awareness, about your ascent, is remarkable. As I, sometimes I feel they have really prepare a field for me, a proper area for me to talk to people. Especially in India, I don't know why traditionally we are very, traditionally we are very much devoted people. In the same way all over it should happen. Because in India, of course, there are mad people also, there are cults, there are all kinds of things, no doubt. But actually they, we have saints who have guided us very well. Despite that you find in India people are going astray, doing wrong things and wrong type of worship. This is true, no doubt. But it is, I should say, just the white. So, funny type of a madness where there is no wisdom. What is between a mad and a sane person is that mad person has no wisdom. And those who have also so-called wisdom, I should say, that we are very wise are sadly mistaken. Because the way they behave, the way they commit mistakes, the way their whole attention is, I should say the whole working is sometimes surprising, but because they have no wisdom. First of all is to test yourself, you must see, am I wise? Am I wise? Do I doing wise things or I am not doing it? So many complaints come to me about search of business. I am surprised, why? Why are they doing like that? I would say still, they have not reached the state of bhakti. Bhakti and Shraddha, these two things are missing in the Western life, I must say. We should come back, we should develop, we should grow. But even in the Eastern life now it's missing. For them the ideal is now the Western life. Once you take to Western life, that part is over because the whole thing is judged with ideas what is beneficial, what is helpful in life. But bhakti and shraddha, according to them, is of no use. That doesn't help. Most of the people nowadays think like that. But you are very few who have understood what is bhakti and what is shraddha. So I would say the Goddess gives you bhakti and shraddha. By what? She gives you through your meditation that you see so many miracles happening in your life. And you are amazed how this has happened. We never expected this to happen, how it has happened, how it has worked out. Also she corrects you. All the time, you, if you are aware, she corrects you and tells you, don't go this way. You are going on the ego side. All she'll tell you, you are going on the left side. 
she is the one who corrects throughout we get into diseases and all kinds of we are trapped into all kinds of things it is because because we don't have bhakti in the bhakti you have to depend on the wisdom of the mother wisdom of the shakti that she looks after you she finds your the way and she will help you if you start becoming on your own and thinking that i am all right i can do this i can do that you will find inevitably that you are wrong that you have a very wrong idea about yourself and about the divine so what is the most important point is surrender the word islam means surrender but mohammed sahab has described what you should have before surrender is your realization but you have seen after after realization people take time to settle down but once you are settled down you understand that you are under a protection of the goddess that you see every day how it works and how it helps you many people who are in sa yoga so called have great respect for me but are not fully there then they suffer and they have problems and then they ask me mother how is it i have got this problem i don't tell them because you can't tell anything to human beings you see they are very aggressive but the fact is because because you are not one with the divine and with the divine if you are one you will have nothing but compassion and love nothing else. and everything you will do so smoothly so nicely people may not understand like they crucified christ they did all kinds of things agreed but now you should ask for the protection of the goddess because that is the greatest quality of the goddess that she protects you from all problems from all troubles from all kinds of nonsensical uh, i should say things that can happen and there are so many things that happen i tell you i was told that one of the leaders of sa yogi was killed i said not possible and the fellow was in the uh, room he was not killed so it's not possible that a young man should be killed like that of course somebody is old you have to die but that he was killed was not the right thing so it is the protection not only physical mental emotional but spiritual protection comes to spiritual protection in that what you do is that you don't do wrong things you don't kill anybody you don't torture anybody you are not rude to anybody that is the situation into which you all can enter because you are such a peace you can achieve it you have a power to do it because you have so much shraddha and so much uh, understand that you have reached a certain state of protection of growth of wisdom now first test your wisdom you must test your wisdom if i am doing this is it wise is it good do i am doing it first test your wisdom then you will find out that many things you do which are wrong which should not have been done but first your wisdom must develop and you must see that your wisdom works and helps i have seen now yesterday's drama you must have seen that girl she is very sensitive and she could see through her wisdom what was good if you cannot find out what is good and what is bad if that is the wisdom is like if you cannot find out what should you do then the wisdom is like but if you have the wisdom then you will immediately know that this is wrong apart from that you will be saved from all kinds of problems is a fact i have seen with so many people like that who have been saved not only from death but from all kinds of crop, cut, catastrophes all kinds and uh, <coughs> i was amazed how these surgeries are helped 